Okay then, so now we've created a new project using this view UI, this project manager tool. What I'd like to do now is show you how we can do a couple of different things inside this tool as well. Now, the first thing I want to show you how to do is just installing one of these. So let me just add, for example, the view router. It gives us a little more information here and we can also go to more info to find out more about this online, which is cool. Just click continue and this is gonna install now the view router for us. So now it's done that, if we go over to our project over here, what I'm gonna do is just refresh. And then if we go down here and go to the package.json, we're gonna see that this view router is now installed. And if we go into the source folder, we're gonna also see a router file right here. So we've created this. It's also created that views folder with these two different pages or these two different components as well. So that was simple, right? We could do the same thing with Vuex if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that just now. Instead, what I'm gonna do is show you how to add a different plugin. So something that's not up here. So just click add plugin and all the different plugins you can add are gonna be listed down here. You can see they all have that CLI plugin name convention. Remember, that's how a plugin has to be named. Now what I'm gonna do is just search for one to do with GraphQL. So I'm gonna do this right here, view CLI plugin Apollo. So if I just click that and go to install view CLI plugin Apollo, it's gonna install this for me, but What's cool, if I click on this, then it's gonna take me to the GitHub page for that with all the documentation and I can read more about it, which is really nice. So for now, what I'll do is just install this plugin. So this will install it in our project and maybe create some boilerplate code for us as well. All right, so now we can see a couple of extra options, add example code. So this is really good if you're just starting out with the technology, it's gonna show you how to get started with some sample code in your project. So I'm gonna check this just so we can see what it does. Uh, add a GraphQL API server. I'm not gonna do that for now. I'm just gonna finish the installation and that's gonna create it for us. Okay, so that's installed it for us and it's come up with some different changes here. So we're just gonna commit these changes onto our repo. Um, we'll just write test. It doesn't really matter what the uh, the message is right now. And that's gonna commit those to our local repository because we've changed the files. And now we can see we have this plugin installed. And if we go over to the code now, we're gonna see we now have a GraphQL folder. And we have all of these different queries right here created for us. So that's really nice. It's generated all of these. And if we go into components, we also see we have this Apollo example as well, which is showing us how to create a component, which is using this new plugin. Okay. And if we go into view Apollo, we see all of this extra code as well. So it's boilerplated all of that for us and installed all the dependencies we need to use this package. So that's how we can install a plugin using this UI tool over here. Now, I also want to show you we can install other things like dependencies over here. So these are our main dependencies and these are our development dependencies. We can add a new dependency by going to this button over here, install dependency. So that's those things. Um, over here we have the configuration of the different plugins we have inside our application. So this one over here was the Apollo server we just created. So there's some extra options there, ESLinton and also the Vue CLI. So we can set up some different config rules directly inside the UI tool, which is really nice. Now, if we go down to tasks, we're gonna see these different things right here. Now, this serve task, this is what spins up a local development server, right? So if I run this task over here, it's gonna do that for our project that we currently have open. And it's gonna display some statistics on that down here. So I can go down here. You can see it took eight seconds to, uh, to spin up that, which is quite long. But also down here, we can see the different speed stats for different case scenarios. And down here, we can see some different load stats as well. So this is all nice. We also have this cool analyzer over here, which gives us a different kind of graphical approach to this. Um, we can do the same thing with build or inspect. If we inspect, remember, we get the, the webpack config file. So I can run this and it's gonna output the webpack file right there. And now you can see that this is all inside the output. So that's nice. So these are just some extra different things that we can do in the UI. The best way to learn more about this, I think, is just to open it up, create a project and play around with the different features inside it.